Hello and welcome to the um, AWS Lambda uh, tutorial. Uh, so how to deploy Quarkus on AWS Lambda. And uh, if, uh, if you want to, you can do it as a native as well. So all the previous uh, videos should work with a native, uh, native uh, package. Firstly, I want to say that I created a, a bucket called Lambda Quarkus. Uh, this will be required later uh, through the video. And uh, yeah, so now uh, we can create a project uh, from the, uh, so I have here the archetype. It's similar to the Azure function. So you'll see that we have a Quarkus Amazon Lambda HTTP archetype. So it's something similar to what we had before. Uh, and this will again uh, execute the interactive mode, which we can create. So the group ID this time, let's create again Tehdo now. Uh, the artifact ID will be, let's name it uh, Quarkus Lambda without dash Quarkus Lambda. Uh, version will be normal, package tag the now, and yes. So it's ready. Uh, we can open it up in the in IntelliJ IDEA. Um, all right, uh, so I open up the project and uh, uh, you will find a lot of similarities with what, what happening with Azure. We have almost the same stuff. We have Quarkus Restesia under Tone Vertex. Uh, so basically you can choose whatever you like uh, and um, uh, use it and we have a Quarkus Amazon Lambda HTTP. So this is like we had an Azure, in this case we have a Lambda. And so this is the, the specification how to deploy our function. Uh, so there is a one difference though that we have a, uh, we have a two files. So we have a GVM which we were going to use today and we'll have a native one. So this uh, you can try it yourself. So you just need to specify minus P native when you build the image. And so, firstly, of course, let's call the let's go to this folder. Uh, uh, lambda, Quarkus Lambda. Okay. And don't have the Maven NV. Uh, so in this case, we're gonna use Maven uh, Clean install. Um, this will prepare our build. And let's wait before it finishes. Okay, you will see that it's installed the uh, into local Maven. We have a target, um, so yes, you will see that our our project was deployed or installed, uh, and now uh, we will need to execute few commands. So firstly, uh, we can of course uh, use the local environment like this: uh, sam um, local start API uh, minus minus template. So uh, SAM is a serverless, uh, I think, Amazon something. So it's this uh, AWS tool. And uh, so this is this sounds like, you know, something related to permissions, but it's not. So don't uh, think you'll need to install it. Of course, uh, I'll send you links into in the descriptions. So basically, you'll need to tap the AWS uh, uh, tab and uh, then call the brew install um simply or something like this uh I'll, you'll see in the description so yeah so let's uh it will also um prepare the docker container image either on the first request or something like this so you'll need to wait a little bit that that changes the everything so we'll need to call the just the hello like this so this should work and it might be probably uh, slow because of the, uh, of course, the Java. Uh, so uh, what uh, you can. Okay, so now let's try to deploy our Quarkus uh, Lambda or AWS Lambda uh, to the native. I have here a few commands that we can use. Yeah, so as you can see, it's loading, it's uploading everything uh, that I built uh, and uh, yeah, so it's now ready. Now, what we can we should do the second part is the we need to uh, deploy uh, as as you can see it's already suggesting me to do the package it and then stack name. Um, so be sure to use a unique name uh, for your deployment. So in my case, it was Quarkus AWS Lambda with the some of the shortcuts, and you'll see that you have the uh, output so you have this uh, URL that you can use in order to um, to 
make it working. So be sure to have some of the permissions. Uh, they'll be probably specified in the description of the video. So one of which should be Amazon API Gateway uh, and I am full access, not the full access, but some of them. And of course the AWS Lambda, you'll need to have an access to use it. Uh, taking that in, into mind, that we can try to use this URL. So I'll open up and you'll see that we, we have a missing token uh, authentication token. Uh, so in order to fix that, of course, we can call the hello and uh, you should get the uh, hello Jax, uh, Jax RS, which is exactly what we expected. You can also call the vertex hello and uh, and the undertow, I think servlet, right? Yeah, and also servlet is also working as expected. So yeah, this is an example of the lambdas. Um, I hope this will help you and I really suggest you to use the native one native development if you have a time uh, so because it will improve the because it will improve the lambda 10 times or more in a speed so yeah uh, thank you for watching I'll see you in the next video